You've seen the miracles of God. And when she opened it up, she said it was $21. She said, William, this was my washing clothes money. I needed this. You see how God operates? Now, I'm not saying that she would have lost the money had she not bought anything from me. But see, God will work things out for you. God is always working on your behalf. God is already fixing things on your behalf. When you think it ain't being worked out or it's not being fixed, I think somebody said before you can figure it out, God is already. So I said to myself, I'm going to have to see that man's hand. God spare me. I get to heaven, I'm going to see what kind of hands he got. Come on, somebody. That man had multi-talented. Multitask, multi mindset, and yet God called him and anointed him. And everything he touched, you ever heard the expression, the minus touch? The minus touch? Am I right? You heard the word, oh, you. Not minus, but minus. The minus touch. Not minus as in minus plus minus. But Everybody got it. I want you to understand something. When God going to bless your hands, all you got to do is lift up your hands to the Lord. Lift up your hands to the Lord. When you lift up your hands to the Lord, and the Bible teaches us, when they built the Ark of the Covenant, and they built the tabernacle, and then Solomon came around and built the temple of God, and the gold in which he received, and all that he had done for the glory of God, I want you to understand something. Keep your hands up. Not only when they built the tabernacle, but by them building the tabernacle for the glory of God, it showed forth that they were worshiping God. Yes. Not only were they worshiping God, they worshiped God with their time, their talent, and their treasure. Yes. Yes. You worship God with your time, yes. your talent, yes. and your treasures. Yes. When you give, as the songwriter said, you can't be God-given. I don't care how you try to outdo God, God can outdo you better. I don't care how much you try to worship God, God going to bless you right back. I don't care how much you try to give time to God, God can give you your time back. What do you think David says? When we lay down at night, and many of you can relate to this because some nights you don't just go to sleep and go, go right on the bed. Sometimes you're up for whatever reason. But David said, Lord, when I lay down at night, let my sleep Now don't go by man's standard. Man tell you, you got to take eight hours of rest every day. And let me just blow some of y'all out the window. All y'all talking about, I'm going to stay in bed till 1 o'clock when the holiday come around because I got to catch up on my sleep. Get rid of that idea. <laughs> Ain't no such thing as catching up on no sleep. You sleep what you sleep when you sleep when you sleep. And you sleep as much as you sleep as long as your body lets you sleep. But when your body tells you to get up, it's time to get up and not stay there. Am I right? Amen. So don't waste your time trying to catch up on sleep. Leave me alone. I need to catch up on my sleep. Now, some of y'all got a job for to be to work at 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, and you in the bed 5 minutes to 8. Jump up looking like a scapegoat. <laughs> All over the place. Where am I this? Where am I that? Ma! Dad! Lord have mercy. I ain't got no gas in the car. Oh, Lord, the tire's flat. Oh, Lord, I can't find my key. Am I right? And you can tell, you can tell when saints cuss. They won't cuss during the day and when everybody else is around. Best time to catch them cussing is in the morning. Shaving. Oh God, Jesus. I know what I'm talking about. Huh? But when you've been pre-approved by God, amen. God had blessings ready for you. Yes. Amen. Yes. I know I ain't going to finish this message, but I want to touch on someone today. 
Lord have mercy. Look to somebody and say, you've been already, already been pre-approved pre for your blessings. Pre Put your hand together and give God the praise there for me. Now, now, I'm going to make this very quick and to the point. When, when, when Ruth, who had a mother-in-law by the name of Naomi, and a sister-in-law by the name of Ophrah, and they were from Moab. They were Moabites or heathens, if you please. And Ruth's uh, father-in-law, uh, Naomi's husband, left Bethlehem to go to the other side of the Salt Sea to be in Moab, because the grass and the vegetation and the ground produce better results than down in Bethlehem. In other words, the grass was greener on the other side. Y'all with me on this? Sometimes folks go and do things, and then they want God to bless what they're doing. Now, I know y'all don't understand where I'm coming from. Yeah. If you want God to bless you, you have to wait on him. Yes. Right. Well, how do I know when God wants me to move? Because he will reveal things and open doors. Yes. God, this is Pastor Watkins from Community Revival and Outreach Ministries. I trust that you enjoyed that wonderful service we just uh, had, and I trust the Lord that it touched your heart and your spirit, and it also inspired your soul. But beyond just listening to a message, we also ask you to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. And how you do that, you just simply ask and bow before Christ. And if you're willing to lay hands upon your TV or bow your heads right where you are or sitting, if you just bow your head with me and we'll pray the prayer of faith. Heavenly Father, we truly thank you for all things in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ that you forgive us of all our sins and have mercy upon our soul, and that not only you save us, O Lord, from our sins, but, O Lord, that you would sanctify our hearts and sanctify our souls as well as, O Lord, baptize us with the Holy Ghost and that with fire. We accept you, O Lord, into our hearts and our life. We confess our sins and we believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that God raised him from the dead. And by believing and accepting this, O Lord, we claim to be saved in his holy name. We give thanks and praise for all things. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I trust the Lord that your heart is fixed with the Lord and that your blessing will be assured and that you'll come out and fellowship with us. And if not with us, your, your own local church in your area and that God will be a blessing to you until we see you again. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.